Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rise of the Robots campaign where we're trying to beat the game on legendary Iron Man difficulty with only sparks and psionically active characters of course. It is time to get another dark event off of the plate. I don't like the fact that Chosen suffer no weaknesses plus I like, uh, like Intel. What I absolutely do not like is protect the device and I'll show you in the mission just how bad protect the device can be and maybe how you can circumvent some of the negative consequences. This might be quote unquote a loss uh, because protect the device missions can be absolutely a pain in the rear. So we're going to take our Psy operative who is um, tired so we're not going to take that. Instead, when we do have Hunk, Hunk has Maximilian Richter, aka Sonar, as a colleague. You know what, before we take him, how about we take our good team, the DM and Halop. I haven't seen an action in a long time. And to, uh, to split the love a little bit, I would like to take XQS6 uh, with us making weapons available, make utility items available. Yes, please. XQS6 being um, the guy who takes the war suit in this regard. So a rookie with a big fat um, rocket launcher. Or a rookie with a big fat hellfire protector. <laughs> projector sorry so how about that yeah that sounds about right let's give him an auto loader and let's also give him some blue screen rounds okay we're going to see how that plays out we're changing the shredder gun for the plasma um, weapon and maybe we're taking the shredder gun for him that way we got two rockets and two shredder guns I think the plasma blaster um, oh yeah that's uh, the plasma blaster was the upgraded weapon of the rocket launcher just a little bit more damage if I'm not mistaken 7 to 10 yeah that's going to hurt like a lot okay for these two gentlemen I would like to go with the typical mimic beacon plus blue screen rounds combo kind of the standard nowadays And since they are rookies, I suppose we're going to go with just that extra scope. Yeah, these three are fine. And I would say it looks pretty decent. We got a lot of explosives, which when you're having rookies and rookies only is a good idea because explosives usually can't miss. And we're fighting against about 10 enemies, probably the Chosen on top of it, if I'm not mistaken. That is the area of the Warlock. Let's go, guys. Sir. Let's go. Okay, it's a Sewers map. That is interesting. Sewers maps have a bit of high ground, so the mechs can play to their strength. And they are usually pretty condensed, so AoE attacks will definitely be helpful. We got to make quick work of uh, the enemies. So what I would want to do is find out if this here is triggering. Enemy patrol sighted. Okay. Given that they are there, this here should not trigger anyone. And the reason why I'm so aggressively moving in is because lesson number one, 
for protect the device missions is you don't play them. Lesson number two for protect the device missions is you definitely do not play them. And lesson number three for them, if you just cannot help yourself and end up to be forced and or masochistic enough to play them then you gotta be super fast these guys are already running back because they want to be annoying uh the protect uh, the device itself has 50 hit points now it has 45 and if something like a heavy mech or um, an andromedon begins to take shots at it then you can rest well well assured that the device will not last for long and that's the whole problem of the premise of this mission the device is made out of paper at best no clue why they decided to just rush back that's well, atypical behavior for a patrol but as you can see, I'm not having any of that. Or in other words, we are charging in like maniacs. See how I leave the left hand side here open just so that we're not being put in a tough spot. Yeah, and that's exactly why you don't want them to take, uh, uh, take the first shots at it. Because now you're looking at 11 points of damage every single round. And we're essentially forced to start uh, this encounter on an absolute high note, of course. Good. We got Hunter on Vector, which is why he's breaking line of sight. I'm hoping to maybe get to get a couple of overwatch shots out of this all right that was not successful that was very much successful good job Okay. You know, one thing that is cool about the Shredder is you can very much launch it through the wall. And open the wall with it at the same time. I think Hitting four enemies with a rookie is pretty much as good as it gets. Okay, of course, we're triggering the rest. The codex here will split. Shocker, I know. All right, overdriving. Since we've just pulled the entire map, and since this is unfortunately how this beautiful mission type often tends to play out, I figured we might as well want to hit as many of them as possible with AOE weapons. There we go. Okay, we're going to talk about how we're dealing with that in a second.
This is this is so much of a clown circus, clown fiesta. I wanted to play a decent, well organized, structured XCOM, and it appears that XCOM didn't want to be played that way. But okay, if you want the Clown Circus, you will get the Clown Circus. Rest assured, Saiken is no stranger to the Clown Fiesta. The main idea now is to somewhat maximize the number of targets that we're hitting. Best I can get in here is three at a time. Is that going to make sense? Probably not. This is making more sense that the Andromedon just stay there for now. It's too much hit points anyways. There we go. And this here deals with the like, last codex plus also removes the cover of uh, the Elite Spectre. Got one more codex in the background. Advanced stock, that's perfect. That is actually pretty good so if we were to move over here that still allows us to hit both of the targets and we're not being flanked that's exactly what i wanted so codex kill yes please that was 100 percent by the way because of the advanced stock, team working. Now let's work on the heavy mech as the next target. X -ray neutralized. Good, two down. And we're getting short on actions. Um, we do have a mimic beacon here. Theoretically three actions. And leave this guy here all by himself. This here is indestructible, so there's no way for me to get rid of it. Unless I flank him from the side. Good. We're taking proximity bonus moment to here. I'm not afraid of the damage from the zombie, nor from the shell. That's 
very nice damage. If I play our cards right, this should be a kill. Uh, just barely short. All right, throwing that mimic beacon in, we're going to deal with probably one uh, shadowbound with the elite specter there. to just step in lovely uh, lovely easy to hit from high ground uh, yeah let's just try to get his cover blown off was a failure. Can shadow bind a mimic beacon, buddy? It's just not gonna work. That on the other hand has a good chance to work. That was a pretty girly slap, I'm not going to lie. A bit disappointed. All right, Chosen shows up. Gives us all of uh, the I'm a hard guy speech. We're going to see about that in a second, my dude. Oh, sucks being shot at, right? Damn right. Okay, back. I needed to step away from the PC shortly. So, we moved a bit closer. Let's get that Andromedon shell taken care of. Nice little extra shot. Good job. So, those three together. would make for a fantastic finish with a rocket. Which begs the question, how do we want to deal with this guy here? We probably can't kill him in one go. Maybe we want to just focus on these guys first. Removing the cover. There we go. That almost killed all of them. Still no kill on that elite specter. How is that even possible? Good. Let's. I've decided we're we're using all of our um, forces just to get this guy here down. 
target eliminated. The owners created them for this very purpose. So the advanced stock will kill him 100% of the time. We got one more elite spectre kind of in the back. And of course we got the warlock. We're still fine with the protect the device. Mine scorch might lead to an, uh, mind control. Oh, it was just a scorch. My bad. Figured it would be mind control. We are taking this guy slowly but surely down now. All right, the EDM is heavily dis dis uh, oriented. We're trying to get everybody back on their feet, and of course, even more disorientation. Mm. That's suboptimal. Good. We are reloading, killing the Spectre, and then we're continuing with the Chosen. I apologize for your entire reckoning for all of your offenses against the Elders, Commander. Initiate reload. Insufficient damage on target. Good. He's probably going to summon now. I would just guess that. Might be a mind control as well. I'm not 100% sure. I will just reload here. Don't need the mimic beacon yet. There's the summoning. Come on, hit. Too bad. It's a mech versus mech um, fight now. Get out of my head! Watch it! That thing is taking control of our soldiers! Good, we got mimic beacons ready. Let us continue with the chosen. Can't really flashbang him. But what we can do is we can definitely injure him quite nicely. Oh, okay, one of uh, the mechs is still standing there. Yeah, we can't kill him this turn. Just too much firepower all around him. Removing the overwatch. We need to use his mimic beacon. And that's unfortunately not a kill. Aye, aye. So we're moving over here. Let's place uh, the mimic beacon pretty much to here, which means both uh, the mind control soldier as well as the mech should 
try to work on that one. Gotta hate the Spectral Army as well. You can't really fight him whilst he's in Spectral Army. But on the, the other side, the mind control should be over. Good. Moving over here, first things first, this mech needs to die. Good Out of ammo here. We are going to continue the reload, keeping us uh, nice and stocked at the same time destroying these units. Moving over 50 50 to deal with that stun lancer. Decent hit, that's good. There now. Taking some extra loot, superior expanded magazine, and advanced expanded magazine, and an advent data pad. That is a fantastic, absolutely crushing loot. Alright, so much for his spectral army, which is just over. More like a spectral joke, if you ask me. Not sure if this here is going to be able to hit him. It is perfect, good. The shielding will not help you a lot. Well, that was a pretty damn good shot. Not going to lie. Pairing ourselves. Overdrive. He crit us nice, uh, nicely there. Good. He's almost dead. We're going to feed the kill to Vector, just to level him further. And that was a protect the device mission guys and now you very much know why I don't like to play them. We essentially pulled the entire map, 11 enemies at once, got to draw many many cooldowns and a mimic beacon uh, to stay uninjured, immediately got joined by the warlock, another double summon, another spectral army, another mind control on top of that due to his action economy. It's just, it sucks, and if we wouldn't have like placed ourselves there to be good targets, we would have lost the device and lost the mission. Okay, I, th I know we got at least one promotion. Yeah, and that stinks. Gravely wounded. At least we're promoted. And we mentioned we wanted to take the Hunter's Protocol. We're almost a champion level. And that looks pretty good to Codex Brains, and we got a lot of weapon upgrades. Counted the made whole. 
event, which was great. Let's take a look at our weapon upgrades here. Superior stock, good. Superior stock, even better with the superior expanded magazine. The advent propaganda machine is running full steam. We're picking up their transmissions even way out. The For them with their like three M ammunition. I really liked uh, the Superior Expanded Magazines. Not that they uh, that Superior Expanded Magazines are ever bad. Quite the opposite. They are almost always just fantastic. We're picking up indications of the Elder's Warlock actively working in this region. Good. Lightly wounded soldiers can be sent into combat. I think we want to get that, actually. We got only one tower so far. Only one tower so far, I'm thinking. We also don't have the supplies for another tower. Never mind. Good. What are the options that we do have? Supplies or assorted loot? I think we're healing. And we got to get some more contacts. Okay. I will probably end the video here. As always, the ambush missions aren't uh, the most interesting ones to look through. Uh, we've just gone through the Protect the Device mission and we're going to start with the next mission. So there will be a small portion between now and the next mission uh, that I do not record. Because, uh, you know what, let's uh, do it differently. I'll just play the mission real quick. Good, there we go. We just uh, finished it and we got Major Patrice Girard, another Templar, just uh, uh, casually joining our armory. Lovely. How about we're continuing to hunt uh, the Chosen and mm, since we can take anyone here, Raul is going to be his his bondmate and I would absolutely love to kick her ass because she is incredibly annoying. That's another facility lead by the way. That's not bad. What's the resistance order? Ability points are ge uh, good. I like it. This here isn't bad either. Yeah, but we can do that once we're done. I want to Put an end to the Chosens. They have pestered us long, long, long. And I don't want to fight them anymore. So, yeah, that's going to lead until uh, pretty much mid of next uh, cycle. But yeah, that's probably the right decision. We're continuing to heal. another facility okay probably need to do a facility gig pretty soon there's one over here with another alien ruler that would be fun and one over here with nothing in it Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the avatar oh, we're still having a bit of time Good. Advent Star Mounters can now perform a movement after melee attack. Sucks, but we'll just not let them do melee attacks. Sector Port, the breakdown, on the other hand, does not suck at all. Gremlin Mark III is exactly what we want, and we're going to get some more intel out of this here. Engineering 4. The Gremlin Mark III, instantly upgrading, 
still got a lot of uh, things that we could upgrade. I kind of want to wait until we directly can do the gatekeeper autopsy. That way we can jump over the advanced uh, Psy amp. Good. Looks like we're fine for now. And Quick Feet continues his training. I like it. Void Rift is another great ability. Sustain is good as well. Let's start with uh, Void Rift. And as you can see, we got uh, Roby back in action. He has taken the second slot. Only one missing is Renvin, who's still healing. Got a couple of pretty nasty injuries on uh, the max, but they are being repaired as well. So yeah, things are starting to look up. Infirmary still takes many, many more days. But once that is done, we will finally be able to heal much faster. A new construction means there is a new facility, and that means pretty much that we're almost forced to go and kill one of the facilities. Ninety-six intel, fantastic. Let's get the Andromedon uh, done. Still hoping for breakthroughs. The plasma weapon plus one damage would be a perfect breakthrough. Let's take a good look here. Only got Renvin left over. Everybody else is doing fine. Let's see that new. Templar has Bladestorm. Oh my gosh, and also has Fortress. Holy shit, that's a good Templar. I almost feel bad for Hogbite because he's um, sort of being left behind. Good. Channel already happens with the others. I think we're going to go for Arc Wave. Damn. Magister is pretty damn good with the extra superior speed. That makes him even more dangerous and he gets a Mind Shield. Just like any Templar, which now means he's of course, except for the dodging piece where he still sucks. He's pretty well versed uh, defensively. Immune to any mental, and immune to all of the physical um, effects. So probably those two Templars will be the ones that we take into the last mission. Hogbite in this campaign is more an enabler and has helped us through the very beginning. Good. She increases her uh, combat training again. We don't want that to go through, so we're probably going to infiltrate her. I hate the deadly assault on us. Uh, it's bad. This here is actually a helpful um, dark event. This here is a pretty bad dark event. I hate losing concealment right away. That'll be pretty bad for many, many reasons, and that's okay. I don't know the other hidden event. I think we're just taking that extra resistance contact for now. And continue as is. Got a nice little extra 800 as income. Can we do something meaningful here? Don't need the specialist combat tactic. That would just be throwing money out of the window. Can't upgrade that. Can't yet upgrade the Shadow Chamber. We've upgraded everything else. Yeah, we're pretty much okay. Just 
one last check. Um, two more days until Renvin can take back his position in the psionic chamber. Might as well continue really healing faster here. Fantastic, another shredder gun. Well, that wasn't bad either. We could either go with the plasma grenades as a permanent upgrade, but we're not using a lot of plasma grenades. We're not using battlefield medicine at all. I like the powered weapons. So let's go with that. We're unfortunately out of cores. Good, there we go. Renman just recovered. How's the training going along? Soulfire training one more day. You know, I hate to do that because we've already used six days, oh no, th two, three days on the Void Rift training. But I much rather that these guys here do their training and then we can continue getting them to maximum rank. All right. So we got some loot here, assorted loot. Might as well use um, the time to... Almost ready for the stronghold. Might as well use the time to go for the alien facility now. So let's do that at, uh, as our next task. There is no reason not to do it at, at this point, guys. Um, I'll end today's mission here. Um, it was a rather longer one. And I'm happy that, that I've done all of the strategic layer because we made quite a bit of progress. So next up, we're going to go and uh, challenge the next chosen, which is probably the uh, Icarus suit wearing uh, Master Archon. And that will be a rather tough battle, but we're going to prevail. So let's see how we're going to do. And I hope you enjoyed the um, episode as always. See you in the next one and take care. Oh, before I forgot, yeah, the liking and uh, the commenting down below. That would be fantastic. Thanks, guys. See you. Bye-bye.